Hey, welcome to Outfit Wars Nexus. Uh, we're going to be casting one VS4 and hot today. Uh, my name is Varun, and I'm joined by Anna. How are you doing? Hi, hello, howdy. I'm excited here to cast Ever Chosen of Chaos versus oh, Big go. Men. They're, they're using the, the outfit the names. Outfit names. Yeah, this is going to be sick. Gonna I'm be totally awesome. not dead tired. Holy shit. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm wide awake, in fact. Uh, yes, absolutely. I believe I think Katy Perry is the one who like pioneered that phrase. Um, Pardon? Definitely a good, uh, good motto for life. Ah, uh -huh. I'm wide awake. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're off to a good start already. Uh, All right. That's great. Perfect. Hey, uh, well, welcome to Outfit Wars. Uh, Outfit Wars is a 48 v 48 format with a three lane setup. Uh, goal is to have as many bases at the end of the 45 minute alert. Or capture the home base of the other ter of the uh, of the other team. Uh, it's pretty good. You know, I like it. Enjoy casting it. You know, I've played uh, one or two matches, casted a couple more. So overall, good stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd agree with that. I've enjoyed it. I think most most outfits have enjoyed it, other than you know. But uh, yeah. it's it's been pretty good. I think it's an improvement on Desolation. I think most people agree with that, just because of <laughs> the nature of Desolation. For sure, yeah. Desolation was a lot more, you know, I, I think it has its place, you know, and perhaps maybe like a rotating, like, hey, we're going to do Desolation, hey, we're going to do Nexus could be interesting, but from like a casting perspective, I think Nexus is a lot more like to offer. I disagree. I think Desolation okay. sucks, but we're going to roll area. into uh, talk about Perfect. The teams yeah. Here. Hot so, versus hi. ever chosen of chaos. Hi. Tell me a little bit about the teams, because I don't know these teams at all. So I, in my infinite knowledge, know everything about every server and God everything. Um, no, I, I didn't even know who Hot was until like 20 minutes ago when I logged in and saw who the names were on it. Now I understand kind of what, what's going on. Uh, starting with Hot, uh, they're going to be the guys on NC today, right? Yeah, NC Reavers Galaxies, which, anyways. Hot is like uh, Med K, 1KPM, or XTAC, I can't remember what they're called, and then uh, T as well. Like it's, it's basically Doc P's like little harem of, of fellas. Uh, I, see like, I see a lot of really recognizable names, Miles, Adraticator, Moby. I think, I, I think that's Landwell as well, I see, like a character name, ton, Lantarn, like tons and tons of people like uh, La Ninja, a very strong <laughs> roster <laughs> that you see right now sitting in this warp gate. Very uh, interesting matchup here today. I'm gonna say, like, it just uh, logging in and seeing all the names. I I, I recognize. I was like, oh, okay, it's gonna be one of these kinds of matches. Uh, I would, I don't know too much about Cobalt, so I'm gonna refrain myself from making any like uh, statements here. But yeah, it's it's a very strong team. Um, one versus four, ever chosen of chaos. <laughs> Is uh, I think they're a split off from Trident. Maybe uh, uh, that's know. what I've been told. Let's roll with the solid. Maybe they uh seem to be sort of like I've run on them on on Cobalt a little bit, and they seem to be like like they'll shoot at people. Like they, you know, it's it's uh, you know what I mean. Like they're competent. Uh, I don't know anything other than that. I don't recognize any names. Like I don't see any guys who I would see normally on like, Jaeger or something like that. So I'm not a hundred percent. I think that Hot has the serious advantage here. Uh, I would I would just go ahead and say that out the gate. I'm predicting Hot to win, just with the name power that they have, and and I know Doc P and I know Smiles uh, pretty well, and they are very good. Uh, like they play these kinds of formats a lot, and I don't know if these guys have done that, but we're gonna see. Like they've been pretty strong so far. I think they've won both their matches. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're both. Right now. Yeah, these are the two undefeated teams so far. So it'll be interesting to see how it like actually shakes up and what uh, Ever Chosen do to like I don't know kind of bridge the gap here in skill that, that I, I think is there. I'm not 100% sure. Perfect. Well, let's go ahead and get to the in-game, and let's take a look at the openers, see what we're going to be getting into here. We're on the blue team side. We have pretty standard opener. You know, lots of air, a couple of galaxies, very little armor. On the red team side, uh, exactly the same thing. A lot of... Uh, <laughs> A lot of Reavers, a couple of Galaxies. Um, it's a pretty standard opener from both sides as far as like uh, like the Nexus. Oh, we have 10 seconds left, by the way. Yeah. It's You just you want air control, basically. At least most teams do. 
Perfect. Let's let's get started. As I'm gonna watch the red team out of the gate. Looks okay. like the I'll map is still look. bugged. Sorry. <laughs> I'll take a look over at uh, one versus four. We're gonna be the blue guys. I don't know what they are on your screen. Um, I'm using faction colors. Okay. Okay. So the purple. What? No. What? One versus four. Uh, <laughs> one versus four is blue for me. Okay. Okay. Never mind. All right. Let's take a little bit. Look at the air opener. A little bit of hitching going on here. I think that person just crashed because they hitched. You hate to see it. Oof. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, the hitching has definitely been a big issue. But yeah, both teams just going for air control in this big ol' air battle here. It's... This is gonna be really interesting to see who, who wins this. Because whoever wins this goes up really good on the nanites. Oh, that galaxy just crashed because of another hitch. <laughs> oh, god. Uh, <laughs> They're... They're crashing into each other. Are you seeing this? The galaxies are like yeah. They're like mate go. Yeah, I'm looking at this. The whale fight. Oh Ooh, my goodness. And that oh, whale like, wins. God bless. Unlucky. Taking a lot of fire right now. Both of the galaxies are smoking. These are probably prox rep. Yeah. So they're going to be sticking together. They're going to be used as the staging for the red team. And it looks like so far red team is definitely winning a little bit of the air opener right now. They still have a lot of their galaxies up right now. Yeah, the big men, I would say, definitely have a pilot advantage here. I see Lasky, I see Yoda, Smiles, like, like there's, these are, like, really good pilots, so it's definitely tough uh, on Everchosen's part to, like, deal with that, you know? Mm -hmm. And they've pushed up to, like, the front mountain, so they're, you know, peaking, peaking the crest of the warp gate for blue team right now. Mm -hmm. With the double rep gals, that's, I mean, that is a really good strat, and they're using it very well. For sure. One of them's being focused right now, Crafter Wick. Taking a bit of fire, has to back off though. Other galaxies being focused right now. Goes down. Both galaxies around half health. A little, bump did it. A little bit of bumpage going on. I'm surprised Looks to like see these galaxies so far forward. Usually I see them more back. I think that Hot kind of oh. understands their advantage here. One of the Repgals taken down, the other one starts to back off right now. Down to a quarter health, just gets melted. I think one VS. 1vs4 definitely went for an air repull there because I'm seeing a yep. lot of air dominance back in favor yeah, they of 1vs4. Let's take a look at the map real quick, see what kind of timers we got going here. Everything is currently in favor of red team right now. Looks like all of them are on fast timers as well. Actually, it looks like Granite Head's being contested a little bit. Yeah. yeah points but flipping right now. Granite Head being contested for... Both teams, and then no oh, hitching. The uh, yeah. looks like hot, pretty firmly in control on the other bases. For sure, the team right now contesting C point right now. Three beacons up right now, so they're going to be transitioning into infantry right now. Anvil comes down. Not sure what team that is though. I don't know if this Vanguard knows which team it is either. They're just waiting <laughs> to see what color is this Vanguard. Yeah. It's um, the colors are really messing with me right now. I'm trying to like like look at the map and see who's what. I'm getting lost. But it looks like we have 30 seconds of Critter Gorge and 50 seconds left on SATCOM, and there's no nothing coming so far from Ever Chosen. It looks like they're just... They're going to all in on Granite Head, looks like. Yeah, which is, I mean, a fair strat. I'd maybe go for a steal at the last minute. I don't know. We're going to see. I'll keep an eye out. Perfect. I'm going to keep my head over here at Granite Head Reactor. So despite 1vs4 having air control more at the start, it looks like um, Hot was able to take that back because I'm seeing them just kind of like air hammer with impunity right now. Bitter Gorge goes on over to Hot. Character name, still air hammering everyone. Bit of a push going on to B point right now. 1vs4 yeah. starting a push here. SATCOM as well is going to go through to Hot in about 5 seconds. 1 second, yeah, that's... All took. Um, so two bases so far for Hot. Ever chosen going all in here, probably to mitigate the mid air disadvantage because this is a, a much harder base to air that ground than, than other bases. Hmm. This base is also just really, really strong to hold. Yeah. There's a triple stack, there's a powerhouse, and then A point, which is kind of the bastard child of this base so far. Mm -hmm. yeah, a point is very open, but it looks yeah. like 1vs4 is able to take back the B point on Granite Head. That's going to get a fast cap started. 15 seconds left for them. Yeah, that should go th this should go through. I don't see anything coming from Hot so far. Yeah. To be fair, I don't think they need to have anything coming through. They've already got back caps on hydroponics, as we see. And on uh, Slate. And on Slate Canyon, yeah. On, right. on 
Let's head over yeah. to Hydro, which is... Oh, you took away the waypoint. Oh, okay. sorry. Uh, right here. Oh, so, uh, this is a really quick, really good setup here. If you see where the Sunder is at Squad Waypoint, that's a really hard Sunder to kill if you're coming from inside the base. And you have armor control and air control, it's incredibly difficult to take that Sunderer down. Oh, for sure. Uh, and I think it looks like you can wall jump up this little yes. ramp part as well. You just well, can you? Interesting. That's, that'll take some sciencing out. But, uh, <laughs> it's... Take uh, notes, Anna. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh, we see another Sunderer coming in as well for Hot on the other side. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of the, the deal in these, these bases, is you just get Sunderers up around the walls or even inside, and you just pull Maxes and go in and frag. I just yeah. set up in this powerhouse here. And despite them losing Bitter Gorge, it doesn't actually really matter that much. They don't get any, you know, if Hot granite took head. Granite, granite Head, thank you. Yep. If Hot took Granite Head, that wouldn't give them any additional connections because they've already got connections through Arizek. So losing Granite Head, I don't think that's that big of a deal, actually. Despite that, 1vs4 yep. is going for a retake on Hydroponics right now. Missed the push, sorry, but it looks like they pushed in through door one right now and not enough hot on point to deal with that. But hot's got some really good logistics and they're going to be able to move people over here quickly. They got buses and beacons right now. Yeah, hot doing, I mean, just really good solid setups. It looks like one versus four contesting air pretty much constantly. That's a, honestly surprising to see. You see a lot of teams just give up if they lose air. Um, but it doesn't look like it's bothering these air hammers over hydroponics too much. Yeah, despite the air repuls, I'm still seeing a little bit of A to G going on. There's two minutes left on the slate cannon, and it looks like really nothing from Wonder vs. 4 here. Like, there's like three people on point for hot, and just nothing for Wonder vs. 4. Taking a look at these rep galaxies, they were being pressured a little bit. It looks like they're able to get back up to full. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so this citadel right here is being used to block this, like, flak nest that they've got built up. Right? That's... Oh, no. <laughs> Which can I be mean, good, you know, if your rep gals are being, you know, pretty punished, especially if they maybe just re-pulled the rep gals. You know, I can see that use being used. Um, a little bit of a map update. Looks like Slate Canyon's going through pretty uncontested. Hydroponics has been fixed. And Granite Head is going in favor of Hot right now. I believe they're yeah, uncontested. Yeah, but one versus no one versus oh, it's four not. Is yeah, here with a go. couple squads. Yeah, they're coming in. They're spawning in. They just cleared a point, and they're probably moving on to B and C now. Very nice. A little bit of air. Uh, Classic air hammer here. Yeah, lots of air hammering from from Hot. These guys are having a good time right now. That's for sure. Not killing the beacon, I think, is an interest. Like usually, you'd see a air going for beacons like that, but maybe they just aren't aware. They're they're not sure which team is that beacon on. Because when you're NC and you that's see a blue beacon, tr that's true. it's always a little bit like, can I hit this? Can I not? Yeah, your, your brain revolts at the idea. Yeah, like you're just not used to shooting it. Looks like 1vs4 is going for a bit of a push on C point right now. Rez is coming in for hot. Ooh, nice triple gonna need to. Gonna need to happen quick. It's gotta do something. More redrops coming in, actually, for 1vs4. Ooh, Lake Canyon, 10 seconds left on Lake Canyon as well. It's going uncontested. They probably oh, already... No, it gets, it gets stalled. It's stalled? Yeah, retake from uh, 1vs4. They finally brought like eight dudes to be, kill the four dudes that were here. Wow. That's, That's pretty a, crazy. A last minute save there. You love to see those last second saves. <laughs> Yet I don't again. think that needed to be, but yeah. Bit of a B push started for Hot right now. Going up long. Shotguns being used for Ibushido. I, if you're not using shotguns, you're doing it wrong. I don't care how good you are. Pull out the piston. <laughs> get, get the Let piston rip. out. Get that smart choke on. Nano oh, weave is yeah. gone. Crab rave. <laughs> God bless nano re removal. Yeah, it looks like just some scattered infantry action. This is very, like, tons of people here on Granite Head for uh, 1 versus 4, though. Big redeploy, it looks like, coming to B point. Oh, yep, there it is. I missed that a little bit here. They gotta have a bus. Yeah, yeah it looks bus. like a bus in that tunnel over there. Yep. No, funnily enough, no maxes pulled for them at all. Um, they're mm. gonna have to hold it. This is the only place they can cap from, really. Because it looks like Hydroponics is still getting pressured, and so is Slate Canyon. So they have to, like, hold this to, to progress in the map. I think they'd invest a little bit of nanites for that. Yeah. 
Max is definitely what you want to see. Maybe like an LA or two just to try to clean up this roof. But they've got all the they've got all the points right now, which is yeah. pretty good. So despite yeah, that, they it, it looks like it really. Yeah, I haven't really seen Hot really set up at all. They're, they're, I mean, to be fair, they do have, still have galaxies up in the air and like <laughs> people up on a sunder up on the the top of uh, Granite Head. So I haven't mm. really seen the Hot like come in and, and set up. Uh, you know what I mean? Like like we saw the other night with like Gobsy recursion. There's no like full squad in a building holding a point yeah. kind of deal. For sure. One of the points retaken by Hot when VS4 currently with two points. Map check real quick. Map check, map check. Map check, map check. Looks like hydroponics is being started by Hot right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go over there. I'll go over there and see what they got. Nice. I'll keep watching, you know. 2022 ASMR Air Hammer Cinematic 4K <laughs> 60 FPS Ultra Graphics yeah. dot PM4. I see about 12 Reavers in the sky with like three galaxies, four oh, galaxies. Push. Hot two maxes drop in on dubs right now. First one goes down, but over aggressive by the heavy there. C4 and Desi comes out for his. One of them down. Engineer goes down. Both maxes really, really low right now. They have a sliver of health right now. Land wall goes for a bit of a push here. Flank came out from short. Good push over here. Bit of a hitch too as we see it, so you kind of miss what happens there. It looks like Hot's beginning to push in on B point. Just one or two people left on point. So it looks like uh, Hot had a bit of a push that came in from door one as well. So they got a good flank on my way. Yep, we are here. There's battle. There's battle to be recorded and casted. It looks like one versus four. Hot made a mistake here. Hot overextended very far with two of their maxes, and and now one versus four have retaken point of hydroponics. I think that's one of the maxes uh, on door three right now. Yeah, that's Coops. Yeah, it's I see one versus four as well coming in. It looks like the got an NG. Ooh, that NG's so lit. This is for both. Uh, none of them say, went for the. None of them killed the NG. Yeah. You gotta kill the NG there, like yeah, that. Yeah, like he needs to die first. Like stop shooting at the max. Shoot at the engineer. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go, a little bit of max on max action. One of them has an NG, so, the other one doesn't though. We know notice who's gonna win what that. the max notice the mistake that the VS Max makes, which is shooting at the other max. You, you don't care no, about the yeah. max, you care about the engineer. Mm -hmm. If you That's kill a, their NG before your NG dies, you've kind of won yeah. that. Because then you can very, just win attrition. Yeah. This is a very live brain play because now he dies. Because you know, the other and the other max is still full health. Exactly, because they um, never killed that NG. Yep, kill the engineer. That engine's way. gotta be running like walls or something because they don't have any like med kits. <laughs> yeah, something like that. God Good bless. retake though from uh, Hot, big men. Mm -hmm. And the force multiplier usage I think by Hot is you know, definitely well. The max play is very good from what I'm noticing so far. I mean, they've only got like four or five air hammers. I think they could do a little better. I think they could pull like 12 or 16 to be honest, but okay. yeah. Um, yeah, I'm a force commander. I make strategies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, a lot of air hammers yeah. going on here. <laughs> Sheesh. Competitive planet side. Competitive planet side. Let's go. Just have better pilots. I will. Oh, look at the big air pull from the warp gate, though. Holy shit! That's oh, like hear, two there you go. Air. That's what you like to see: air repulls for one vs four. Very good. I mean, that's a fair call. That's actually a good call. Uh, I don't know if I would pull this much air. Maybe, maybe a little bit too much. Well, those galaxies but, are being. Pummeled. Oh my god. Yeah. I, good I, movement by the galaxies, though. They're both staying in ra in prox range of each yeah. other, which is really good. Like, these yeah, pilots know what the, they're doing. This is where the experience of Hot comes in. Like, like these guys have played... This is how you play Repgal strats. Like, you hide in a mountain. Obviously, they finally go down now, but look how long it took them. And look how... Like, see all the other pilots now focusing down the, the size of shooting at those gals? Like, that's huge. In mm, an air about a lot of time. But what this does do now, this air fight, you need a rapid rotation... Uh, down onto point here if you're one versus four. That air fight is good for you. I mean, I think they've lost it, but you've taken the pressure off of this base and you need to get beacons. You need, I do see a beacon on hydroponics point. You need to get in and start flipping point and they've already done that. Again, Perfect. hot overextending and getting caught out by the rotation by one versus four, it looks like. Although... Huh? It's a rough push though, that max Yeah, died. they just didn't have enough people. Yeah. <laughs> Unlucky. Whoa, a little bit of BMing going on. Live on Cotton Fort. Is there BMing? 
I don't know. There's, there's a little bit of a crouch going on there. Sussy crouch. Mm. Orbital comes in for hot. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. That's a really well-timed orbital. It's, they're yeah. forcing those maxes to push, and those maxes are going to be down health. Probably going to die. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a solid orbital. I... Maxes can live orbitals if you use Punisher underbarrels right on them when they're full health. By the way. Can they? Yeah, I believe so. That's what I've heard. Hmm. Science time. Science? Hey, write that one down too. Science time. Uh, but going back to the air repull for 1vs4, like they, they took pressure off because all the air hammers and stuff were removed. And now, you know, HOT is going to go for a repull. So they've bought themselves a lot of time. And I don't think, like, I agree with you. I don't think they did a really good job capitalizing on it. And no. Like... Uh, the air hammers are back now. They've kind of lost but, that opportunity. Push coming in for short. In building. Push coming in for short. Repnade comes in. Two maxes pushing down on the point right now. Push from door three as well. Hot. Their maxes are. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. ooh. That's a. Uh, That's good. Last minute, but still really good. I mean, they bought themselves just enough time with that air repull, like wiping those. Uh, I don't know what the Citadel shield here is for from from them, but I mean, they did a really good job on that. Yeah. That was a good call to to pull that air. And now I'm stuck in it. <laughs> God bless Citadels. <laughs> I hate them so much. They're so annoying to go through. A little bit of a map check real quick. No push on Slate. Slate is something you expect like the timer to constantly be ticking on. Oh, Honestly, it's probably because Bitter Gorge was ticked. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's a really good... I didn't even notice that. That's a really good backup from Mortar vs. 4. They're, uh, so far, exceeding my expectations to be Yeah, they're honest. playing very well. Like, like if uh, we look at the stats, there's a clear difference in, like, the individual skill, but in terms of map play, 1vs4 is doing really good here. Yeah, like, there's only so... I, I think there's a lot that they can, like, improve on, but, like, they... I mean, they're not getting rushed and work gated by these players, which these are, like, very, very good players. I can't stress this enough on, on hot side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of names that I recognize on Jaeger. Yeah. Looks like Bitter Gorge is being fixed right now. Just got C point left that they need to take care of, and they got people rotating right now. Competitive I mean, stacking it, just passes yeah. by each other. Like, what are you? Car, cars ships in the night. Ships in the night. Ships in the like cars with headlights off on the highway. You know. Um, don't do that. By the <laughs> way, <right? laughs> I'm uh, not a professional driver. Don't take driving advice. These from me. two, the play from these two, competitive stacking, whoever the other guy was, uh, Hyperflux. That was, I mean, that was really good to go for that backup. Honestly, I wish they had placed a beacon and gotten a squad here, like, mm -hmm. and, and capitalized on that to get more time on. But not going to happen. Backup going to start a slate cannon as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, those galaxies are up. menacing. Oh. <laughs> no, menace place for recursion. Oh, um, you're right. Sorry. Yes. All right, let's take a little little look at some of the stats right now. Let's get some of the top killers who okay. we got here. Okay. Coop's top killer right now for hot. And we got it's Ferris. I'm bad with names, sorry. Over for one <laughs> VS4. Let's take a look at the top vehicle killers. What do we got here? Alright, pretty even. One VS4 actually head on vehicle kills, 85 compared to 70. Let's take a look at the revives. One VS4, just by virtue of losing inventory fights more, they're not gonna have Yeah. You know, they're gonna have more revives because they have more deaths that they have to yeah. deal with. Uh, and then finally, I love the domain kills pie chart. Oh, 36% of kills for hot are air. 36%. I've never seen it be that high. I've seen like 25%. But 36% is crazy. We see drops coming in now on hydroponics from hot. On my way. But it just... Oh, here we go, pushing they're into dubs. They're pushing into dubs, but there's no other push. Yeah, is there like a short? Is there like, like a door of one? Nothing. Door that, one the, looks like it's already dead, actually. Yes, the door one is totally dead. Character name destroyed in the max suit. Uh, it's you can only you can't push in one side in a powerhouse. If they if they have, I mean, they have what like a full like a full platoon in yeah, there. This is, this is the whole game. Yeah, like you can't push into dubs alone. You have because they just all rotate and kill you. It's it's just uh, but we do see them coming in from door one, door two now. He's a push. Yeah, one one VS four is actually rotating s too slow off of dubs. They need to be on door one here. They need to rotate this. They're a little slow on that rotation here. And it just seems like so is hot though. Like uh, so far at this fight, I, I haven't seen like uh, a ton of coordination. Now they're finally getting in on using the space that has been provided to them. But I haven't seen a ton of coordination in their pushes. Here comes the door three push. Door three push is actually back on the point right now. Again, one VS four. That's like. Oh, here we go. They're pushing from short, though. They're just kind of... The Maxes are playing ring around the Rosie right now, just avoiding yeah. each other. 
which is good play. Like, I mean, that's that's what you do. The job of the Max is not to kill the Max. Yep. At C4 and Desis. Well, I mean, it obviously it depends, but... Yeah, try to contest if possible. Life's crazy. D1 Man. coming in now, pushing up fat. It looks like, finally, 15 seconds left on this timer. Maybe a back cap from the pool, unless they get wiped. Oh, look at Skinny. Oh, no, it's Dark Skinny, Psycho. yeah, they walked all the way up oh, long no. and then went down short. <laughs> His push is going to be very close. Three seconds. They have oh. to have someone on the timer. No. No, they don't. Push in from door three happening. Yeah, I think if 1vs4 was just a little bit quicker with the rotations there, they would have been fine. If they had wiped door 3 faster, they would have, you know, they would have had those two seconds back. That's but, heartbreaking, because you can see they were ready for the backup at SATCOM. Oh, you hate to see oh, it. It looks like they're all, they've also responded over to Slate Canyon. Go check that out. Oh yeah, big time. Oh, drops coming in right now. Caught on 4k drops coming in. Hot in 4k. 1vs4 currently owns the point right now. Hot dropping in right now. Beacon on the roof. Blood Ninja trying to 1v10. Didn't work out quite so well for him. It's, 1v, it's 1v4, not 1v10. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wrong outfit. Apologize. Mm -hmm. You know, Texas numbers. You know how it goes. Those are hard, yeah. Roman numerals, something like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, good holding. So, I mean, very good stuff from 1vs4. Right, like, their rotations are there. They're buying time. They're, they're back capping. Like, I... You can't ask for much more with zero oh, air Max control. Another air in. pull coming from the warp gate as well. All right, let's take a look at the air pull. Air pull. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I love their air repulls too. Like, this is showing why they're one of the top teams right now. Like, they're doing a very good job of just knowing when to do the right thing. They're a bit slow, I think, sometimes on those calls, but I, I agree with a lot of they've the calls they're making. They've been doing a good job. Like, they've been doing a really good job. I, I'm actually really impressed. I didn't know who these people were, and now, now I do. Hey, you know... Can I change my vote? Is that too late? Vote for what? I don't know. It was okay. a bit. Yeah, yeah. Good, good bit, good bit. Thank you. Uh, uh, still action going on a point. Looks like Hot finally going to come in and retake. I, I don't think one versus four. Oh, never mind. I take it the fuck back. They are sustaining and they are alive in there. They, oh, That's they really held? impressive. Huh? <laughs> I zoomed in and I saw a bunch of blue skulls and oh, I'm like, they're no, dead. Here come the maxes. Yep, here, here's the maxes. Yeah. Resonate comes this... out for which side? Who knows? I don't think. Huh? That might have been a bugged resonate. Another one versus. Oh, another one versus four resonate comes in, though. They're back up on of point. Them. Oh, more resonates for both teams. Competitive planet side at its finest. Resonates for both. I think that's. Oh, more resonate. Up. I saw another one. No, that's for uh, hot. Oh, that's a and hot, hot one. Yep. Finally, retake another one with two seconds on the point, and it looks like they probably. They had a back cap ready over here at Bitter Gorge as well. That's. Ah. Oh, I get just a They're little, so a close. little slow. <laughs> just if they had like a max in there or two, I mean, at this point too, you probably don't have a lot of nanites. Um, yeah. But still, like, man, unlucky. Who Slan goes down? Slan playing very aggressive. This is. Uh, they hesitated. They needed to push. Yeah. They need to push. That's... You have momentum. Push, push, push. Please push. Yeah. Please push. Oh no! Just res they didn't go. Oh. Just they're push. pushing, they're finally pushing though, they're backing them up, so they need to get in the building, like, oh, right in. now. Yeah, they have so much space that they can take right here. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, Ninja in the max. Push comes in, Ninja with the shield up. There we go, now they're finally taking space. Resonance coming in though for Perfect. Hot. I like this backup by Hot, they're playing a little bit more in Cubby. Oh. Ooh, friendly Desi. Whoa. Good retake right now. And hot? Ah, I feel like if some of their air wasn't in the air. They have too much air. <laughs> yeah. They have too much. They yeah. have six people uh, in galaxies. Do you need yeah. six people in galaxies right now? Like, come on. At this point, no. Oh, the the problem I've. So they retake a point, but there's no back cap ready on Bitter Uh, Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hydroponics as well is about to go over for hot. Check out Hydro. Any push going on here? I don't think it, it's not enough time. Hop's been doing a good job playing the timer. It's Fenris. Got a beacon down. Beacon's taken out though quickly. That's good. Was it quick enough to avoid any drops? Oh, I see one drop. Drops coming in at Hydro as well. Oh. They're stalling a point? What? Ooh. What? No way. Uh, oh, Max, so. smoke everywhere. Please do not smoke. I cannot cast in smoke. <laughs> Stop smoking. Oh, wait. Why did this Max leave point? 
Huh? Oh my Hoops. goodness. Why did you leave the point? He's alone. He's all alone. That's a. I mean, again, I guess last second retake for, for one versus four. One vs four. My goodness. This I don't. Is solid. I feel like Coops could have played on point more there. It's. I mean, to be fair, he kind of wiped him on point, then rotated Z1, and then they, they stormed in with like a squad and a half. They rotated really quick on beacons there. That was really, really good. They, they, gotcha. Here we go. Good push, Coops. Keep in mind, Hot have full air control here. Those beacons had to be snuck in at different points. That was... Oh, and they have a bus as well. No maxes, though, and they're going to get air hammered to all god in here. Oh, dear. But they're in, they're in the building. They're on point. Uh, I, I don't know how long that's going to last. Yeah, we'll see. Resident comes out for Hot right now. Points contesting back in favor. Yeah, they got a short and a dual in push right now. Resident comes out for 1vs4, though. Res is up long and on point right now. It looks like I this is going to go through for Hot. Yeah, they moved a lot of their air over as well. I'm seeing a lot of air here. Oh. Did, I just saw Galaxy flip. I just I saw that caught. Did you see that? Yo, put that in the montage. That was a That's sick so flip. Cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, I'm really impressed with one versus four. That's this is yeah, really that was, good play from them. That was good play. Good play at Slate as well. Did they start the? Wait, what's going on at Slate? We're gonna stay over here. Can you Slate check out? Is Slate is nothing's going on yet. Okay. So what it seems like they're gonna do is play for, and, and this is this is a decent strategy is play the to play for not the warp gate basically. Um, although I do see like, oh, never mind. I take it the fuck back. Uh, look at the warp gate. We've got a Ooh. full platoon redeploy here. It looks like they're uh, abandoning. Oh, I see. So they lost hydroponics. So they said all in on warp gate. We're not getting warp gated today. I this uh, is I don't fair. like that kind of play. It. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I said this last night, but getting warp gated is like the worst feeling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to get warp gated. It's it's just it sucks. It's like okay, game over. I, I if I'm in their position with the air disadvantage and, and others, like play to defend the warp gate and then just go for backups over and over and over again. Yeah, exactly. And it looks like they're already doing that on hydroponics. They just flipped hydroponics. Flip hydroponics. The orbital Look comes down for hot. Cap. What is this orbital? Hyperflux back capped again. This guy's good. Recruit this this guy. orbital killed no one. That was a waste of an orbital. Two orbitals. What? Huh? Oh, they were trying to kill the bus. A uh, hot had a bus right now. But didn't work. Orbitals do not kill buses. They do do quite a bit of damage, though. You can get them really, very low, but you have to have really someone just follow need up. To, yeah, you just need a counter push. Like that's what there's just there's not that much hot here. Like you look at the pop. Yeah, just please go push. Through and push. Yeah. Please, please push. The back cap also got <laughs> this on galaxy the sitting on top of four flak turrets. Very uh, brave. The Citadel shield allows that actually. What? No, they were like lit. Very literally on top of. Oh, oh. Well, hey. If you ball, you ball. <laughs> True words. Michael Jackson said that one. Yeah, so I like this. Again, this is the flying the flak nest. Yeah, flak nests are just rough. <laughs> <laughs> There's, uh, they're only so effective, and especially with the Sidel shield. Like honestly, I, if I'm if I'm uh, one versus four, I I orgle that right now. Just, just get it out of here, or you know, you could do an air repull if you have the nanites. Air repull would be pog. Uh, I mean that. Like, I mean, especially with like discounts and stuff, air repulls yeah. are, are pretty cheap, really. Yeah, especially with the ASP discount and like a outfit discount. I think it's like one seventy five per ESF, which is. I don't know like, if ASP discount applies. I know that like the membership, like membership doesn't give you more nanite ticks. I don't know Correct. if ASP does or not. Actually, I would be very surprised if it doesn't. That seems more of like a ASP is just like a character level game thing. Right? Or membership is a money thing. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll see. Science. Science. Sci yeah. We'll just check. So you see the strategy now is turtle the warp gate and just keep going for back caps. And we see like one or two people. You'd like to see like these guys back caps like place a beacon and get like at least like five or six people and actually secure the back cap and make them rotate back. Make. You, you want to make hot, like right now, if you're one versus four, you're like, all right, let's just make them waste nanites and pull maxes just and stuff to root us out of these points. But, uh, yeah. 
We got a push yeah. going on right now. Hot's beginning to push in. We got Sandre leading the charge right now, pushing in from the powerhouse. Good push right here. Do they have a flank? I don't see a flank though, so this is going to be hard for them to try they to actually get not. in. Yeah, it's um. I have, I think that's their biggest flaws that I've seen so far is that their pushes are just and their pushes are just like face pushes into one door basically. Like I haven't seen any like or it's one push and then it dies and then they push from another side at like ten seconds too late. Mm -hmm. You know it's uh. Great, but we do get the flank here though on the point. Perfect. Yeah, now that the flank came in, you see a lot more effective. So here we go. Warp gate base under contention right now. Let's take a real quick look. Let's look at the top weapons, I'm curious. Oh, air hammer is the top weapon for hot. God bless. Oh, this citadel is gonna make this annoying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the citadel I guess is. I'll, uh, I'll use this angle. Okay, I'll orbital it. All right, thank you. Yep, no problem. I'm a. I got a sharp mind. Very good. That's why you're the co-caster. Yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah, now it's just. I don't. Where are they? Are they in the spawn room? Yeah. What's going? Oh on? no. Are they in no, the, the powerhouse? Gate? Powerhouse. Look at the powerhouse. Uh. Uh, sorry, the North Powerhouse. Yep, found it. Oh, they had a Sunder underneath too? Okay. The Citadel is holding me back from prison. Yeah, it's, uh, terrible, honestly. But I'm trying. Oh, push from the other one as well. Here we go. Somewhere? Are they underneath? Where are they? I think they're I'm underneath. So they have a stealth bus underneath the base, it looks like. Okay. Let's, how can I get there with this citadel in the way? Uh, you have to fast right, forward gonna, your character. Sorry, and just roll observers it. or viewers. Okay, we're finally out. Let's go back in. Yeah, it's just a couple buses for one versus four underneath, but they they aren't really using them to go upstairs. I don't know if there is an oh, there's one stairway down here. Really? Yeah, so here's... Okay, no, there's two stairways, and they're kind of just hanging out underneath right now. They are flipping point back, it looks like, though. That's good. There's tunnel action going Yeah, on big right push now. coming from the powerhouse, going into point, and, and it looks like 1 versus 4 retaking point. Nice, good retake from 1 versus 4. I don't that think... That shield is finally dead, thank God. God bless. Thank you, one MVP right there, whoever used that. Ever chosen of chaos. Uh, but good push here from one versus four. That looks like they cleared logistics for the most part for hot and just to, except for that one under. Oh, two Sundays on the outside. But yeah, I mean they've retaken point. They've got maxes on point. Might see another ten minutes of warp gate battling. Let's go! I love casting warp gates. <laughs> yeah, they're great, aren't they? Sit in the roof. Um, and to whoever was t telling us to go to another match, we definitely will. Uh, whenever this ends, if possible. Yeah. But this might not end in time, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, might just go for the full 10 minutes. They've got a pretty decent setup here. No engineers, though, on these maxes inside. A little rough. A little rough. And gotta have a flank. We can see a flank on the mini map right now. Coming in on the other powerhouse. Oh, the mini map. Oh, my. Oh, and there's one max to hold them back. That's not gonna go well. Oh, yeah, this put. Wow. Max is still, where's that Max going? What's... what? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> the Max ran outside and got Desi? And got Desi? The Max didn't <laughs> do the flank and pushed out short? <laughs> Must be Gort! Oh, God. Uh, yeah, it looks like... One versus War just do not have the sustain on, on this point. Uh, but they do have the timers flipped. They could get back up if they wanted back to, maybe. I, I see would people. Check. I would go a, check. Back up check? We're checking. They're flipping on Slate Canyon, and they are flipped on Hydroponics. There you go. go. One versus four. Now you need a beacon like right and now. Slate. Per they yeah, they flip both. They they yeah, have just protected the warp gate. Uh, you need beacons like now, now, now. At Slate, I think they have a beacon because they got a whole squad over here. Or they have like okay. a bus or something. Hydroponics. I don't see anything from Hydroponics. I just see the oh, one guy. The beacon. beacon comes down. 
Is that enough though? I think it went down pretty good. There come there come the drops on hydroponics. Yeah, full squad in for on hydroponics from uh one versus four there. And then we got a full squad over here at Slate Canyon as well. One VS4 doing this a really is... good job of moving their people around right now. Yeah, I I mean this is this is good play from them. Like uh, you know. Props for like continuing to play and not just giving up and like sitting on the warp gate the whole time. I could tell this is what they were playing for and, and like I think they need to work really hard on their back cap game. Like the beacon needs to go down before you flip, and then you immediately flip. I think yeah, yeah. that's that's what's been giving them trouble. Is they flip and then they go place a beacon somewhere. Yeah, gotta gotta get that beacon down first. Or, yeah, mm -hmm. the way around. Beacon first, and then you immediately go and flip. Um, yeah. You know, of course, there's it's situational, but that's that's normal. generally. Yeah. Uh, looks like four. two squads here on hydroponics as well. Two squads at Slate, so they're they got a good flip yeah. going on right now. Let's go check out this hydroponics is... and check what's going on over there. Just stop uh, poking the arrows containing spawns and kind of holding is them this in. Hydro? Nope. Oh, hydro's over here. Hydro, yeah. Oh. Uh, this is. I don't think I've seen any team play like this from their warp gate. I don't think I've seen anyone actually do like solid back caps you know yeah, like, like th this is the first time i've seen someone actually go and set up two back caps when they're warp gated or right, they've their, also defended the their warp gate now like yeah. timer wise warp gate's out of play now it's 850 it's not oh wait no you're right because they have time on point yes yeah. absolutely correct um yeah i mean they just yeah this is a good result for one versus four like this is really solid uh play and honestly they just wiped out hydro they got to get everyone over to slate now like slate's gonna be a move I'm honestly surprised that Hot let them do this because you could kind of see that this they've been doing this all game. You it's it's you can kind of see this coming from when they immediately went back to warp gate. As soon as as soon as Hydra went through, they went back to warp gate immediately. And so you could kind of tell they were like, okay, we're gonna uh, what's it called? We're just gonna like play here and then just back up, back up, back up, just to not get warp gated. Because mm -hmm. remember, points do matter as far as the playoffs go. Well, uh, all the points are gone. The, the no, I mean points. I'm sorry. The pool oh, of 500 is that... points is gone. Oh, it's 500 for the whole match. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, pride matters too. There you go. Uh, speaking of, it looks like hydroponics just got cleared out. Yeah. So one BS4 is going to be having to come over to Slate Canyon right now. I would like to see a full commit to, you know, both teams. I mean, you've here. got 50 seconds. Like, you might as well, right? Yeah. A lot of uh, air from Hot again. Like, do you need three Prox Rep gals for this? <laughs> like, I don't know if that's necessary. Hey, they're just vibing in the Ritz, you know? They're vibing in the gal? There's actually four, by the way. Oh. <laughs> okay. Counting's hard. Uh, yeah, unlucky, unlucky. I mean, you see the harasser, and I mean, good cheese usage from, uh, from Hot, but it's going to be tough here. We see it's literally just a stair hole. Yeah, which is where you got to hold because of that open window. You can just see four through that. It... I won't give away all my strats yet. Roger that. Yeah. Push coming in for hot right now. A little bit sporadic though. Resonate. No. 12 seconds. Looks like the cap's gonna go through. And now it's gonna be can they defend this for seven more minutes? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Resonate comes out for hot. A little bit too late though. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that was good. Good play there from 1vs4. Do they already have the back cap at Bitter Gorge? That'd be crazy. Bitter Gorge timer check? Yeah, here they are. 1vs4 is already at Bitter Gorge and they're starting. <laughs> I mean, you gotta hand it to them. Like, you know, uh, they've lost, but still, like, this is... Uh, it's commendable to see a team actually continue to play and continue to do good plays even after we've even got that's not airport never mind but like to continue to do good plays even after they've kind of like mathematically lost you know quote unquote mm -hmm. gives me something to talk about anyways yeah it's definitely makes casting easier thank you <laughs> who, who is winning yeah one versus four is winning right now true yep this right. is science this is fact i'm gonna take a look who's the top max repairs i'm curious <laughs> All right, we got Sweaty Heavy Gam with uh, 80 max repairs. Wow, look at look Sheesh. at that. Not even playing heavy. Let's take a look at top spawns. Yeah, 1vs4 has 500 spawns. That's crazy. Like, 175 spawns from one person. 
Whoever competitive uh, stacker is, they're doing like really, really oh, good. Oh, they they're the one that's been back capping, I believe. Yeah, they're doing uh, a really good job with that. What's it what's his name? Something. I called him out earlier. I can't remember what his name is. Something Flux or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now it's just kinda of battle over bitter gorge, I guess. Battle uh, for bitter gorge. Yeah, the battle for bitter battle bitter. Bitter Borch. The better, the better, better the better the battle for bitter bread Borch. Borch. Barrison. Yeah, yeah. I love Europe. Have I mentioned that in this cast yet? No. Actually. Uh, Europe is great. Yeah, I found that weird. Usually, you're always like, "What?" No, nah, like that you didn't mention it before. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. And a known strong supporter of Euros. Regardless I love of, it. Of, uh, I love I love rating. Oh wait, no, I can't say that. Sorry. Anyways, uh, yeah, this air gun is pretty wild, though. It's right? brutal. Yeah, air, <laughs> a, a point is gonna be, <laughs> oh, impossible just, to like, take. Sitting on the stairs eating it too. It's uh, this is the true lane smash. And now Nexus Outfit Wars experience right here, getting air hammered and just <laughs> destroyed by like four people. <laughs> oh my god. God bless. I mean, on the galaxies, because we talked about the galaxies a lot, like, I think Hot knew they had the infantry diff on this one, which they do. Like, mm -hmm. it's, the fragging diff is just too, too severe to overcome. So, like, they were just like, whatever, we'll just keep the galaxies up for quick transport and for reps and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, it works, but it, there's definitely yeah. been some times where it didn't work out. Yeah. They won, but could have been better, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I think the big thing I saw from Hot was uh, the pushes. Uh, but I know Smiles. I think he was in chat saying he disconnected. So yeah, that that's is, rough. Smiles is I'm assuming was either one of their air leads or, or something like that. So I, like that's that's huge for them. That that sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the whole disconnecting thing and not being allowed back in kind of really sucks. Yeah, very <laughs> interesting. Yeah, uh, spaghetti code being spaghetti, I suppose. Um, I think that's it. There, nothing is left in play at this point. Uh, isn't Slate a two minute? No, Am I confused? it's a four okay. minute. Okay, ignore me. Yeah, so... What are, what are we talking about now? We have like two minutes left. Oh, shoot. I don't know. Uh, I got, strictly speaking, if they get a fast cap on Bitter Gorge, that's still in play. No, uh, it's not. They just, they just flipped on the Slate cannon. Yeah, now, well, now that they got Slate. Yeah, now it's out of play. Um, what do we do that's quick? Can we do something controversial? Am I allowed to do that? Uh, nah. I've, I've wanted to start drama for so long, though. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay. We started right. like, a drama club of, like, thespians, if that's, like, a good... Thespians? <laughs> Ain't that like them Greek people over in Greece? The, the thespian enjoyers of Araxis, you know? The Thebans. Doc Psycho on the bowl. He's spawn room camping. Sheesh. Natural habitat here for him. Does he main medic? I don't know. Someone named Doc, I would assume that they like play medic at some. Pretty level. sure he plays medic. But like, I don't also know. got like Doc Hudson, who is a racer. So like, it's hard to tell, you know. I thought you were gonna say something else. To be quite honest. Oh. Uh, but yeah, no. I'm, Doc... I'm talking about Cars, the the I... Pixar movie. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> uh yeah. Yeah, unlucky. Ooh. Lancer takes out one of the air hammers. Very pog. Are they Ooh, just and chilling in the mm -hmm. warp gate? Just vibing yeah. in the warp gate? I mean, they're vibing in the Ritz. I mean, what, what do you... They're sitting in the spawn room, I think. At, uh... Slate Cannon and yeah. Lexus. I mean, what else are you gonna do? Not much. Nothing really left to do. Time to pay rel to... Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna read that on stream. <laughs> well, I caught I'm it in lucky. yellow chat, so... Yeah, yeah. Caught it in 4K. A lot of good moments in 4K. Yeah. Anna, can you fix the hitching already? Yeah, sorry. I've been DDoSing the servers every, like, nanite tick. Hey, I yeah, apologize. stop doing that, will you? My bad, Jeez. my bad. I'm just incredibly angry. Grr. Uh, I'm so mad because I live in Texas. Uh -huh. um, I don't actually live in Texas, by the way. I've been gaslighting. True. But, uh, are we gonna... Do you even want to do interviews for this? Uh -huh. I would... I'd be down to talk to Wonder Versus War. I mean, as well as, of course, the uh, Hot. But, like, I, yeah. I'm really curious. Is, like, I, I want to know who these people are. Because Doc P and, like, Smiles, I know who they are. They've, they're 
very storied names and lane smash and alfu wars and like you expect good things from them because they're they're a bunch of very good players and they know the formats very well mm -hmm. but one versus four like i don't know any of these people and they i i think they, they did pretty well really well like i was very yeah, impressed with like, how well they played yeah i mean it was like obviously obviously yeah flaws but like tons of like good like the the foundation is there <laughs> the foundation that's the outfit they split from that's funny um, <laughs> i get it yeah that, yeah, that was so. a callback yeah doc is known blooms gamer yo btd6 yo here's a lobby code hop on hop on blooms oh hot one what that's crazy what gg there there we go yeah, ggs ggs all right overall you know we did expect hot to win but I'm very impressed with one VS4 there. That was that was some well yeah. play, well play by them. Like they've definitely done some some meta adjusting, I would say. For sure. Uh, oh, I don't know go. if anyone wants to interview. Do you have any interviewees? Probably not. Let's go back to the casting desk. I don't know who one versus four are, so I can't really ask. Yeah, them. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Unlucky. Sorry. Hey, you did great. Whatever, whatever you are, whatever, whatever y'all are. Uh, yeah, I think I think we should just end it there. All right. I think uh, sounds good. We've we've rambled on for long enough. Sorry for the. It was a last minute cast, and neither of us know who either of these teams are. Um, I think if we do do another Cobalt cast, we'll uh probably prepare a little better. Probably. Maybe? We'll see. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'll give a solid mid on that one. But other than that, mm -hmm. thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the cast. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. -bye. Bye.